flame. Whoa. <gasps> Wait for the cotton. <laughs> the entire thing will just burst in the flames. Make a card appear. <laughs> What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you seven fire magic tricks with flash paper. You mean like he could start a fire with his thoughts? No, not at all. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. First fire trick coming up. So I have a cool trick to show you with my magic wand. See that new one? Yes, it is a lighter. If you will, light the lighter, please. Carefully. Uh-huh. Watch. No! <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Too many things at one time. Oh, yeah. Want to know the secret? Here's how it's done. Okay, here is what you need to pull off the magic wand to the dove trick. First off, you need a magic flash wand. This is actually a wand that's completely made out of flash paper and flash cotton. So you can light it, it'll start to burn like this. It'll burn all the way down until it turns into a dove. So all you need for the appearance of the dove is a foam dove. Before you perform this for anyone, you're gonna fold this guy up in your hand, just conceal it like that, leaving your fingertips free to pinch the end of the wand. It's gonna touch the end of the wand to a flame. It will light up, begin burning all the way down. So as the wand burns all the way down to the end, you're just gonna let go of the dove. It's gonna spring out from your hand and look like it just magically turned into a bird. And that is the secret of the magic fire wand to the dove trick. Here's a fun card trick using fire that's sure to fool your friends and family. Okay, I have a cool card trick to show you. A uh, bunch of different cards in the deck. They're all different, mm -hmm. yes? Yes. Okay, so uh, Sasha, you can do this one. Name any number from one to 20. I'm gonna have you count down the number of cards in the deck. So 14. 14, so count down like one, one two, two, three, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, 10, two, 11, 12, 13, 14, two, just like that. Count down that many cards in the deck. Quick as you can. 14, 14, so uh, that would be the cards. So let's put that one out in the middle of the table. Could have stopped. It stopped anywhere. Anywhere there. For the first time, let's take a look at your card. Show it to the camera, if you will. It's all right if I see it, it's okay. Ooh. Put it back anywhere in the deck. Perfect. We're gonna lose that inside. Now, uh, over here under the card box, I have a prediction that I made before the trick started. Show it to the camera. Your card will be the 10 of diamonds. Mm -hmm. No? Nope. It's not right? No, no, that's not right. You got it wrong. Really? Oh, I thought that was part of it. That's not it though? No, no. Let's try something. We take the card with the match. Watch, all you have to do is light it. No. Yeah, that's the card. Oh! Ow. That was amazing. Are you serious? <laughs> that's the card. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's what you need for the flaming prediction trick. So this is what you're gonna make beforehand. You're also gonna need the card from the deck that you're going to force on your spectator. Here's what you need to make this. An index card, some flash paper, a special paper that's soaked in a flammable liquid, makes it combustible, some glue, a couple markers, some scissors, and a light. Take your index card, fold it in half. Take the card that you're gonna force on them and write it on the index card. Then you're gonna put just a touch of glue around the outside edge. Stick that paper right in place over top. Once you have it done, you want it to look something like this. You have the flash paper colored in and the wrong card written right here. So you open up your prediction to reveal the card that you thought they were gonna pick. They say, no, this is not my card. And then you use fire to magically change it into the card that they chose. And that is how you do the magic flaming card trick reveal. Here's a way to make a normal household object seemingly teleport using fire. Check it out. Okay, B, I have a cool candle trick to show you. A candle here in the candle holder. Also have a uh, book of matches here. We're just gonna take one match from the book. Watch the candle. Okay. Let's light the match. Check this out. If we light the wick of the candle, we're gonna see this happen. Whoa. Watch the candle. It's disappearing. Watch, it actually disappears from the candle holder. It jumps right down here. <laughs> no way. Whoa, I have to see that again. That was insane. How did that even happen? I did not get it. Okay. 
Okay, here's the secret setup of the magic fire candle. First things first, these two candles are not the same. This is a real candle. This is a flash candle. It's actually a candle that's made out of flash paper, flash cotton, and flash string all put together. So as you can see at the tip here, we have flash cotton stuffed down in the top and a little piece of flash cord coming out that looks like the wick of the candle. The body of it is made from flash paper that's been rolled over and glued in place. But as you can see when it's placed in a candle holder, it's really convincing that it is just a normal candle. You can have a duplicate white candle hidden in your pocket before the performance starts. As you light the candle wick, the entire thing will just burst in the flames and completely disappear. That's when you pull your duplicate candle out of your pocket to everyone's amazement. Now you know the secrets behind the magic fire candle trick. Here's another cool card trick using fire where you change one playing card into another. Let's have a cool card trick with fire. Pick a match. Light it. We have a deck of cards here. Watch the top card of the deck there, the king. You just touch the match to the corner. Whoa. It actually changes. It's changing. The secret of this one is super simple. Here's an explanation of how to do it. Okay, here's the secret to the magic color changing card of fire. This is simply flash paper. And as it lights up, the paper just completely disappears. So on this one, we have a printed image of a king of hearts. And this is a card that we're gonna force on our spectator. We're gonna make them choose this card. And we're gonna show them the king, ask them if this is their card. When they say no, we're actually gonna change the king into their card. What we're gonna do is just put a little dab of glue on each one of these corners of the playing card to hold the paper in place. Now that you've got your card prepped, you're good to go. Just force the five of diamonds on them. Say, look, I have a card over here. This is a prediction. I thought you would pick this card right here. Is that it? Like, no, that was not my card. And then you can take your lighter. Say, watch. We'll actually change the king into your card. And that is how you magically change a card using fire. Most people know about flash paper, but there are some lesser known tools and instruments that magicians use. Here are a few. Flash paper, flash cotton, flash string. Each one is soaked in a special liquid that makes it flammable. When you touch any one of them to an open flame, they will will instantly light on fire and disappear. So you can take a piece of flash paper. Flash cotton has a similar effect, a little bit quicker. The flash cord or flash string being the slowest of the three. Each one has hundreds of different uses in magic. They can even be combined to make something like the flash candle or the flash wand. Here's a cool performance of a trick using flash string. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you guys. So I have a little piece of red string here. Okay. Uh, also have a book of matches. Will you take a match and light it for Okay, perfect. Hold it just like that on it. Watch, we just take the string. <laughs> oh, that was cool! <laughs> Whoa! Really simple explanation to that one. You just have some sponge balls concealed in your hand before the trick starts. I'm gonna take a little piece of flash string, conceal these in the hand so that your fingers are free to pinch right here. You wanna hold it by the very end of it. You're gonna come right over to a candle or a lighter, have your spectator light a match light it up and make the balls magically appear. Now a great thing to do is let them go and let them spring out of your hands as you saw in the performance. You could also hide a foam dove, make a card appear, and many many other uses. So fun little experiment, got a big ball of flash cotton here, a piece of flash paper, and a piece of flash string. I'm gonna light it at this end and see what happens. Here we go. There goes the flash paper. Wait for the cotton. What are some cool magic tricks that you can think of to do with flash string, flash paper, or flash cotton? Okay, this is a cool demonstration for you. This is called Dragon's Breath. Check this out. So you hold it like this and... <laughs> So this is the secret to Dragon's Breath. It's super fine powdered sawdust inside of a little squeeze bottle. So when you squeeze it, air is kind of forcing out of the end of the bottle like that. But if you tilt it down and let the sawdust gather in the end, when you squeeze the bottle, the flame just ignites the sawdust like that. This creates this really big flamethrower effect. It's super cool. And that is Dragon's Breath. You can use it for a lot of different magic tricks. But if you use too much, it'll actually put the candle out. 
And those are the secrets behind some classic magic fire props. Here's an easy way to multiply money in your hand with a little help from your magic wand. I'm gonna take a $1 bill, I'm going to insert it into my hand just there. I also have in my pocket a magic wand. All I have to do is tap my hand three times. One, two, and on the third time, you can see it changes into a $20 bill. The secret to this amazing magic trick coming up next. This trick consists of two parts. The first part, the bill switch. You need a thumb tip. We have these available in our shop, evanaratv.com or howtomagicshop.com. And you also need two bills. The bigger bill that it's gonna change into is gonna start out folded up in your hand before the trick starts just like that. You're gonna conceal it in your hand. The thumb tip's gonna go in that hand as well. And then the other bill is gonna get folded up in a similar fashion just like that. And it's nice to fold it to where the denomination of the bill is visible on that corner right there. You're going to fold it just like that. Insert it into your hand. You're actually inserting it into the thumb tip just like this. It goes inside just like that. You're then going to reach into your pocket to get your magic wand. At the same time that you get your magic wand, you're going to ditch this magic thumb tip into your pocket and leave it there. Grab your magic wand out of your pocket, give it a magical wave or a tap on your hand, and then it changes into a 20 or 100, whatever you want. The magic bang wand is the second part of this trick. This is a totally metal magic wand and the secret is found inside. Let me show you. So each one of the metal tips on the end of the wand actually unscrews just like this. There's a metal slider inside that we're gonna put some caps on. They're the same type of caps that would go in a cap gun. So we're gonna load one on either side of our little metal striker here. So it goes back in this metal tube here. The tip of the wand screws on just like that. The other side is the exact same way it unscrews as well. So make sure both of those are screwed on tightly. Deploying the magic bang, making the cap go off, is as simple as moving the wand out and up quickly so that the metal striker inside slides up the tube, hits the top of the metal cap, and creates the magic bang illusion. Gotta be quick, up and out just like that. And then you can do it on the other side if you flip it around. Sometimes you'll get a little smoke coming out of the top. It's a nice effect. Stay tuned until the end of the video for a special magic giveaway. For this illusion, you're gonna convince people you can start a fire with your thoughts. Okay, so I have a cool trick with a wine glass and some matches. Just have a bundle of matches here. You're gonna drop them in the glass. Okay. Watch the glass. So I'll just concentrate on it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, how are you doing that? Is that smoking? How are you doing that? Watch. Whoa. <gasps> oh, that is so cool. How are you doing that? Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. Did you see that with your mind? That was crazy. The secret behind this one is a fun mix of magic and science. Take a look. Okay, this is the smoking glass trick. This is the best trick in the video, in my opinion. It's my favorite trick in the video because it's the only one where fire is actually really magically created without you lighting it in any way. It actually has two different chemicals. One's a powder and one's a liquid. And they're binary. Whenever they come together, they create a chemical reaction. It's a binary liquid. Mix them. Like I said, very cool stuff. That creates smoke and a magical flame. So you take a little bit of the powder and you have to take a little square of tissue paper, like paper towel. You're gonna put a little bit of this powder, this mysterious magical powder here, and all you're gonna do is fold it up inside this little napkin just like this and kind of twist it at the ends. And you wanna just kind of form the end into a tight little ball of the powder. Once you have that done, you can snip off the excess with a pair of scissors. So all you're gonna do before the trick starts is take a few drops of the liquid and you're just gonna put them on the outer layer of the tissue and let it absorb in. You wanna make sure that it's kind of fully saturated, just like that. Then you're gonna drop it in the cup. Throw some matches on top. Now you can present it to your audience. Hold the glass, act like you're concentrating on it using your mind power to make the matches magically light. It'll start to smoke a little bit as that chemical reaction begins to happen. And then for the grand finale, they should burst into flames just like that. Such an amazing looking trick, sure to fool any audience. Imagine if you could actually start fires with your mind. That would be crazy. This trick looks like real magic. So as the chemical reaction lights up, it will even ignite some of the matches and make it look like you just have telekinetic power. All right, let's see how big we can make one. Do we have a fire extinguisher? The real trick is will we get through this video without burning the place down. This is all of it, all that's left in one. Why all the liquid? That was big. 
That glass is wrecked. And that is the amazing secret of how to start a fire with your mind. Magic World Tour announcement. We will be in New York City, New York, in the United States of America on Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. We will be doing a fan meetup, a meet and greet at Battery Park at 4.30 p.m. Free and open to all ages. The How To Magic meet and greet will be giving away some free merch, taking pictures, signing autographs, and you will be featured in the How To Magic Around The World video. So if you want to come meet me and the rest of the crew, be in New York Battery Park at 4.30 p.m. on June 3rd, 2018. That's a Sunday. We already had great turnouts for our fan meetups in London, England, and Sydney, Australia. Let's see if New York can top our international destinations. Again, that's June 3rd, NYC, 4.30 p.m. at Battery Park. Hope to see you there. Also, a special announcement about the NYC meetup. In addition to the normal giveaway merch, we will also have 10 super fan prizes. So whoever has the craziest outfit, comes the furthest distance, comes decked out in all their Laugh at Life gear, does a crazy trick I've never seen get super creative. We will have 10 additional super fan prizes and we will have one special fan prize for the biggest squad. So whoever has the biggest group of friends, whoever comes with the most people, there will be one special group prize for the biggest squad. So gather up your friends, come out to Battery Park on June 3rd. I hope to see you in New York City on Sunday afternoon. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to share it with someone you think might like it. It is also giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic tricks from this video. If you're under 18, you will have to have a parent's permission to win some of the props, giving away some fire wands, some fire candles, some fire cards, some flash paper, some flash cotton, some flash string, some dragon's breath, some thumb tips, the smoking glass trick, the bang wand. So if you want to win this giveaway, if you want to win any of the magic from this video so that you can perform the tricks at home, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section down below, leave a funny random comment, something we can all laugh at. Get crazy with your comment, get creative. I want to see what you come up with. And the last thing is be subscribed to the channel. It's free and easy to create a YouTube account. It allows you to filter different content that you're watching on the app, subscribe to all your favorite channels, and turn the notifications on so that you get notified when we post new videos. So start a new YouTube account, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment to enter the giveaway so you can win some free magic. All right, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a private email to this email address right here with your mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing, and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave your comments in the comments section down below. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. The shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. Our vlog channel is down there as well if you want to subscribe to that. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.